What is going on guys? Twitchy Tango here. Another day, another video. This one's a bit different. Uh, it pertains to Resident Evil while also talking about the remastered collection of the Tomb Raiders 1 through 3. And that's what we're talking about today. In the almost 30 years Resident Evil has been released, there has only been one other time they have ported the original games to other console. And they did that with the GameCube, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, there are means to play the original games if you have a PC, but all in all, there's just been no, they've not discussed it, they've not said anything or mentioned it. It's kind of weird when the the games that literally brought life into your company do really don't get acknowledged, which I don't even think, I think it's Street Fighter, but it's what set them really on the, the stage. Uh, Resident Evil is loved by so many fans and the original three are coveted by a lot of fans sure there's some fans who were probably dare i say not born around that time that makes me feel old or never had a playstation that do not have a pc that can't access these games if you don't know there are ways to play the original games on pc uh the lovely fellows at bioran have created the most wonderful mod I have ever played, and I love the Bioran. The randomizers are fantastic. I want Capcom to embrace that kind of absurdity, but it is what it is. It's just insane to me that in almost 30 years, we have not seen the mention of even talking about remastering the original three games. You are more likely to get a remake of Code Veronica, Resident Evil 1 Remake, and Resident Evil 5 Remake than you are actually getting a remaster of the original three games. Because I don't think Capcom wants to acknowledge they exist. Which is weird because Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 are so iconic as survival horror. And Capcom just blatantly ignores it. I have a thought, a few thoughts. One's just absurd when you really say it out loud. And the other, I feel like, kind of makes sense. But I, again, I'm not a developer, so I don't really know. And that is my first thought, is they just don't want to release these remasters and them sell way more than all their other titles. Which is stupid when I say that and it comes out of my mouth. But maybe that's what they're really thinking. They're thinking, well, why would we... Why would we re remaster these games? They'll sell more than anything we put out in the last few years. And that is a possibility when you think about it. Because you'd have all these new fans that never got to play the classics that so many old fans talk about and praise so much. They could do things like they did with the Tomb Raider remaster, which you're seeing this gameplay right now. How you could uh, transition from the remastered graphics to the original. You could in create modern controls as well as the tank controls, which... Honestly, I tried playing modern controls on Tomb Raider, and it, that's no dice, man. That's just not well designed. Like, Capcom doesn't even have to do it in-house. They could quite literally give it to Night Dive Studios, who remastered Dark Force, remastered. You're seeing some of that gameplay on screen. Looks nice, doesn't it? Or Asper Studios, who did the remasters for the Tomb Raider collection. Like, there's several different ways they could go about remastering these games. They don't have to do it in-house. I'm sure it wouldn't take them long at all to remaster it. But it also leads me into my second uh, theory, second idea. What if they no longer have the source code? Now, Konami does not have the source code, I believe, for the original three games. They no longer have access to it because, let's be honest, Konami's going to Konami. They're a company that has seen better days. But Capcom's not Konami. They've never really been that bad of a company, despite, uh, except for the issues with the modding scene going on right now. And I think that's kind of our fault when you have nude mods of Chun-Li in a tournament. And that's going to catch somebody's eye. Uh... They've always been somewhat stellar if you also disregard their wanting to make these live service, these multiplayer experiences that are just utter trash. They've been pretty good. I love Resident Evil 6 and I'm not ashamed of it. I want to throw that in because people will bring it up. It's just insane to me that they've not released these in some capacity. Like you could remaster them for $30 and I guarantee you they would make, they recoup uh, what was done to make them in the span of a day like you put that as a pre-order people will buy it. i'd even make the argument that people would pay 60 dollars for a re-release you had trophy sort remaster trophy support remastered graphics that allow you to go in between the original and the more updated version 
you give new bells and whistles to it. You add all the modes that were in things like the Nintendo 64 version and add it into the new version. It'll be able to allow the modders to mod the game, like with the randos. Like you'd have, probably not with how their stance is on modding now, but you would have old fans elated, excited to relive the classic games that they grew up with. You'd have new fans getting the experience what all us old fans have been praising for years. And uh, you they'd make a pretty freaking penny off of it too. There's no denying that this would probably sell 10 million, this collection would probably sell 10 million copies within a few months. I like to think there's, million, there's more than 10 million fans of Resident Evil. Like, you'd have old fans coming back who just can't stand the remakes or don't like the direction of Resident Evil. You'd have new fans getting to experience this all for the first time. It's just utterly insane that Capcom doesn't want to remaster them. And it makes me think maybe they just don't have the source code. Or maybe they just feel like it would disrespect all their hard work when a remaster of their first three ga Resident Evil games just sell more than anything they put out in the last 10 years. I don't know, that just sounds crazy when I say that out loud, but it is insane. Like, you have, you could print literal money with a remaster of these first three games, Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and they're just not. I guarantee you, when we hit the 30th anniversary, we're going to get a remaster of RE1, a remake of RE1. We're going to get another remake of RE1, which I'm going to say right now, I do not fucking want another remake of Resident Evil 1 because to me, Resident Evil 1 H3 Remastered is the perfect remake remaster. It, it, it improves upon the original in every way, shape, and form. It adds more to the characters. It adds more to the gameplay. adds more to the story. Just like, it's kind of insane you can print literal money and just ignore it but it's capcom you know i don't know the inner workings of capcom but it just seems crazy i'm not going insane we're not going insane they could literally really remastered the first three games and it would sell insane amount of copies they would recoup whatever they put into it like i said in the span of a few days that's not that's not crazy talk and it just kind of one i wonder why I wonder why Capcom won't do it. Is there a reason? Do they not have the source code? Like, printing actual money and people getting tired of the remakes would probably shill out $60 for a remaster of the first three. I'm not going to lie. I'd shill out $60 if it had trophy support and all that. Uh, had support for mods. Like, I would absolutely wholeheartedly support a $60 release of the first three games. Because if I'm being honest, there's value in that. The modes they had, all the extra stuff, there is value to what the games offer. $60 for the first three release ports remastered. Honestly, people would buy it. They, I don't think a Resident Evil fan would complain about that price, if I'm being honest. I think they would probably go the route of the Tomb Raider. But even then, I think Tomb Raider Remastered made like 1.9 million in sales. Like, that's still pretty damn good. Imagine what a remaster of the first three games of one of the most iconic uh, franchises in the history of gaming would sell. I'm not saying Tomb Raider isn't iconic, but like compared to Resident Evil that has stayed consistent sometimes throughout a 20 plus year span of time, it's just kind of insane. Like we're gonna get to that 25th anniversary I think I said 30th, but if I did, I mean 25th anniversary because, no, it would be 30th. Yeah, because it was in 96. So we're literally, I think, two years away from a 30th anniversary, not 25th anniversary. But you also got to think, look, what, what did they release on the 15th anniversary? I think it was Umbrella Course. What did, or 20th anniversary, it was Umbrella Course. What did they release on the 25th anniversary? Reverse. So <laughs> I guess you should expect capcom to release another shitty multiplayer game on the 30th anniversary honestly i'm expecting them to re do another remake of resident one if i'm being honest but like print actual money you could literally still make the money off of it by hiring saying like night dive studios or asper media like you'd make money off of it there is no denying that fans would shell out 30 to 60 dollars maybe even 70 I, I don't know that's pushing it for a remaster of the classic games uh update the graphics be able to switch between back and forth between original and the remastered 
modern controllers and tank controllers, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse saying this over and over again, but they would print money. There's no denying it, but it seems like Capcom is hesitant, and I don't know why. A lot of fans ask ourselves when we hit those anniversary milestones, why is Capcom not releasing them? Now, I'll be absolutely surprised if Capcom rele rele does a remaster of the first three games on the 30th anniversary. It would be poetic, it would show that Resident Evil is still has that staying power, but honestly I'm not expecting it at this point, and I don't think anyone else is if they're not going to go ahead and do it. Odds are we're not going to get a remake of Resident Evil 1 on the 30th anniversary. We're going to get another shitty multiplayer title that'll die within a day. Hey, kind of like Reverse died within a week. And Umbrella Corpse went a week, within a week. But it is what it is, man. I'm, I'm holding out hope. I want to hear from you guys. What the hell do you think? What do you think about a remaster? I already know your answer. You probably want a remaster of the Class 3 games because, A, you've never played them before. Weren't, weren't God forbid, making me feel born during those times. You'd absolutely show up money for it. I think everyone would, but it's just kind of kind of up to Capcom at this point. But that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Helps your boy out get into the algorithm. And if you're feeling super generous, consider subscribing and turning on notification bells. But that's it. That's the video. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy.